Hey guys, the dude to two here, and uh, I want to share a game that I just had uh, with you. Um, the game highlights uh, a bunch of pretty cool uh, aspects of Go. Um, I make a really sweet kill in the corner, and so I'm really happy about it, but the result of that kill is that White, which is my opponent, has a huge wall. I'm talking a board splitting diagonal wall of death and I'm not very happy with the way the game went after that I ended up losing uh, my opponent played uh, white its wall uh, amazingly and I was playing a stronger player to begin with so this, this guy knew how to really use a wall um, so uh, when I played him I had two stone uh, handicap so I was black and I want to show you my kill which I think he purposely allowed me to kill him so he can get a huge wall. How ballsy is that? I mean, that just takes some serious uh, confidence, something I am lacking as of right now. So uh, I'm just going to play through the game, and at least up until that wall, and let you see uh, how big this wall is. Uh, that I'm pretty sure he just allowed me. I don't. I don't think he would have uh, messed up. I have to apologize because I'm probably not going to be able to get this whole thing in frame. Pretty close. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is probably going to be the best I could do. I apologize. Uh, I'm playing with the. Uh, maybe I could go this way. Let's see. Better or worse? Uh, a little better. All right. So let's go with this. Um, hopefully, uh, we'll be able to make out uh, the important parts of the game. So I start with two black stones. Um, so let's go through this here. White plays a Komaku over here. Uh, I approach the Komaku. White then takes a corner. I proceed to approach the corner. I don't believe there's anything inherently wrong with anything so far. Uh, white backs off. And I play a Kobayashi variant that I've been messing around with lately. Uh, I figure I could jump in the corner a little later if he doesn't defend, and it'd be pretty nice for me. Um, white wastes no time in approaching this corner. And I do a pincer, a tight pincer, hoping that white jumps in the corner here, and I could build this wall up. It's funny that I wanted to build a wall, but that is not what happened. White, I'm pretty sure, jumps out. Yep. And I figure I'm just going to take some free points here, right? Get some free points. Uh, White initiates this Jiseki here. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, I'm going to play it out at least mostly correct. Uh, I threaten to run out. White stops me. Push again. White pushes again. I believe I could have or should have jumped here, but I just play a little slower and solidly. And White pulls out one more. So I figure, what the heck? Let's keep it going. I need to get to the stone to do some damage. And White plays down. So I play underneath. Again, I know I'm playing slow here. Uh, it protects. And I connect. My next move I was hoping to play here, but white, of course, plays here. So we already see the beginning of a nice white wall. Uh, however, I mean, it's not terrible, at least not yet, I don't think. Uh, I think I should have probably jumped down here or something to try to alleviate this wall. I'm not sure exactly what I did. Yeah, um, I see this cut here. Um, I know that I will be able to cut one way or another. Um, 
I'm pretty sure the way the Jiseki works, if, if I push through here and get a cut here, then white jumps in the corner and gets to live here too, which is probably not a good idea. But um, because I've never actually played the Jiseki out, I just in a real game, I just kind of learned it. I wanted to see what I can do here. It'd be nice if I can cut this off and get all of this. So that's probably what I was thinking. Um, again, have a little patience with me because I, I play these games at work in between building cars uh, on an assembly line so I really only have a couple seconds to to read this stuff out um, this isn't a game that I played uh, at the club so I played this game at work and I didn't have a lot of time to I guess uh, take my time and think of a lot of stuff to try to get the variation uh, correct so I try to push through knowing that white's gonna block and then I know I get a cut and I like these three stones in a row so I try to take advantage. I figure I'm going to get something. And so white plays here. I cut up here. White plays here. And I play out here. Thinking, maybe I can kill this. If not, I could do some type of attack on this and push over. This is what I'm thinking. I know this is probably not the best type of thought. White, of course, plays a uh, move to try to make a little bit of shape. I, of course, protect my corner. White plays another move over here. I'm blocking. I don't want any funny business. White does a clamp, which is pretty sweet by my estimation. It seems like a pretty sweet move. I figure that this is not that big of a deal. If he plays here, I could still play here and get a, a counter. So right here, I want to take away one of his eyes. And white goes for the take. I go for the counter Atari. White threatens to run out. I block here. I read out that if white cuts, I could push. At least I thought I did. Uh, white cuts this way, something I didn't plan for. I'm going to actually push down and put these stones in a tar. He's going to fix. And then I'm going to fix my weakness. Right, I got a little bad weaknesses here. Uh, so I read that this is safe, right? If he cuts, I could push, if he push, I could fix. And I have this here as a uh, uh, potential eye maker. Um, so I read that I'm safe. Uh, he's not necessarily dead. I've read out that, you know, if he plays here, he's probably going to, if he plays here, he's going to live. Right? So this is what I'm aiming for. Um, he plays out this way, threatening to connect everything through. So I fix it here. And uh, now I'm getting a little scared. He's playing his sweet move. And he totally ignores and just cuts this, just attacks this. So, you know, I have a an idea that if I play here, I could kill this group, uh, but at the expense of the stone. So I make one of those, you know, I want to see if I could really kill it or not. Hopefully I could get Sente and play this out anyway. So I play here. White counter Ataris, which means I have to take. Right. Now white makes this shape move here, which tells me he's alive again. But I don't want him to keep playing out, so I play down. Which means he has Sente. So guess what he does? Bam! Just pounds of stone here. Uh, I really need to do something about this right now. <laughs> but I figure I'll do it a little later. I just want to play in here and threaten to kill this group again. So, white plays down. Which looks to me like this move would save his group. This move allows me to Atari here and kill it. Right, white plays in, 
far as I'm concerned, this group is dead, and I am happy, happy with Sente now. And so, I simply run out here. Why? Because I'm a coward that he's going to play here and uh, capture all this. So I'm, I'm a big old chicken here. Uh, plus, I figured I might be able to do something with these two stones. Uh, White simply says, it's all right. I mean, where are you going to run, buddy? You know? Not very good for me. Uh, so now I figure I'm going to try to connect my stones up. Uh, push them down here some, some, somehow, somewhere. Uh, White says, yeah, you're in trouble. So I say, you know what? I'm just going to play here and not let these groups attack to this. I know. Some of you guys are like, oh, smacking your head like, what the? Dummy, 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 dummy. I admit it. My white gets a nice free poke. I'm sure I fill that in. And then white gets another nice connecting move here. Keeping me, keeping the man down, right? So I figure I'm just going to push and try to slip out. I was putting a bit of pressure on these stones now, but it's minor. And white hits me with a good old double honey. Ugh. Yeah, girl. Right? So I play out the variation I'm familiar with here. Here. And then I simply play down. Figuring I can either push out this way or connect. Uh, either way, I'm good. Now look at this. I have the, all of this. This is all mine. Right? All the way to this wall. That's a lot of points. According to my estimator, I have a 14 point lead, uh, even giving White a bunch of possible points he's going to get. Uh, White plays out here. And then I'm just going to connect and not take any chances allowing White to, to get out. So now I have this huge quarter of the board corner. Pretty sweet, right? White plays down here, and guess what? I am cut off. Look at this wall. Alright, you see this, guys? I have one stone, and I have a wall here, 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 all pointing to this stone. Do I realize it yet? Not yet. I play a desperate move here. And white just takes a huge corner. And I figure I'm happy to be able to connect them all, which is completely ridiculous, uh, considering how the super danger I am in. White plays here, I play here, and look at this wall now. I mean, I don't think anybody could say that uh, White's in a happy situation. Maybe if you're very territorial, and maybe if Black had some other stone here, but while Black was focusing so hard on killing this group, uh, White just got massive, massive mad uh, influence and it's all pushing on this white stone so uh, I think I'm gonna call this video my helpless black stone uh, it should be interesting um, <clears throat> once again uh, I mean I, I could show you what I tried to do real quick uh, if, if you're interested let's see I'll, I'll try to extend here which is way too far right white could just play anywhere inside uh, but he nicely just caps me, and so I'm thinking, all right, well, let me back up. Look at this. I'm building a nice framework. I'll play all the way till my big mistake, what I consider my big mistake. White plays here. I'm going to play down and build a nice wall and take this corner too, right? Ha, ha, ha. That's what I'm going to do. Got my nice shape point here. Just play down. White just... See, now I get this corner, white gets this corner, I get this corner, white gets this everything. But, I, I mean, it's something, right? So now I'm going to play down again because 
I don't want to bend. I shouldn't have done that. I should have done something else. But this is what I did. White plays down again. My moves are too darn slow. I mean, look at how greedy this is. I'm like, I'm going to take this all. I mean, this is just insane. At any time, he could break in here and just rob the whole corner. White plays a nice, safe move here. Don't know why. It's beyond me. But I know I can ladder out of it, so I just play forward. White plays here. I play forward. I place here. I'm sorry. I place here. I play up, knowing I'm all connected and happy and safe. White just jumps out. What's he doing? Just growing. What am I doing? Building a fake wall that doesn't do anything. So now I know I need to build a defense out here. So I jump over here. Another mistake. I mean, it, once again, at any time, White could jump in here, eat all this up, and then still continue to jump in. So, I mean, playing through this anymore is really just me messing up time and time and time and time again. I got so excited that I got a big kill and thinking I'm going to finally win the game and, you know, against this guy and nothing. So, uh, you know, let's call it. I'll, I'll zoom out. Uh, it, it, it was an interesting game. I wanted to share it. Um, I got a nice kill. It took me three extra moves to do it. During my review, I, I saw that uh, he could have saved his group at least two times. So that means it took me three moves to kill that group. And in those three moves, he completely wiped away any chance of me moving in that corner and then when I stole my big corner through a kill he already had his corner and he had all these stones lined up perfectly to attack my lonely little black stone so um, I wanted to share this review with you I got a lot of exciting stuff coming up um, uh, my club is currently testing but after testing we're gonna start recording some live games between club members and putting them on here so you don't have to stare at this mug all day long uh, should be a uh, you know, a definite uh, jump up uh, as far as, you know, the channel and the things that uh, I try to do here. Um, got some pretty strong players in the club. Um, so hopefully uh, be able to interest you. I got um, uh, club club players uh, from like 7-8Q, um, 10Q. Um, we have another kid who's probably around... Uh, 15, 14, 15 Q, and um, another guy who's like a solid 12 Q. So uh, have all of these guys play each other with uh, proper handicaps, maybe without the proper handicaps, so you can see the difference between the ranks. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Let me know what you guys think uh, if you made it this far into this video. So that's uh, that's what's going on. Expect that in about a month. Uh, that's about how long it takes for us to do our testing. Uh, any comments, questions, criticisms, critiques? Uh, I, you just want to yell at me, uh, just let me know. All right, guys, take it easy. Hope you uh, appreciated the uh, change from the Joseki videos, and I'll see you later. Thanks.